good whatever your time zone is i hope you're having a good uh, whatever your time zone is but enough of the introductions though because what we've got served on the slice of life today is uh so i'll just straight up suspect that you've heard what is going on with the world uh, nah i'm just kidding because i realized that i'm the one who is terminally online so uh to explain france is uh going through with the olympics this year but why is that controversial? I possibly hear you ask. Because it is. Well, it is not controversial because I dislike France or anything, but it would appear that they've taken a hard stance against God-believing folk. And as X would have me believe, they've also decided to make a mockery of Jesus. Now, here comes the important question. Should we care? And here's why I say that that is the important question. I love the book of Matthew, y'all. I think it is the perfect representation as to why we are all, quite honestly, undeserving of God's love. And it just proves how much harder I, myself, have to push myself to try and be Christ-like. Because I know for a fact that I am unworthy in our God's love. We're not supposed to judge. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in the bathroom talking to myself as I imagine a completely fictional argument for why a fictitious version of someone is completely and utterly stupid for their non-existent argue with me. Am I insane? Yeah, so what of it? And here's the crux to why I think that the important question, that being should we care, is so important as believers. Part of me wants to say that believers should make a stand and not watch it because the whole charade is blasphemous and unironically stupid. We, uh, we have a fat person at the helm of the Olympics. DEI is definitely supporting this. But another portion of me is saying that we, we, we would be judging. And a really great problem that I'm seeing with a lot of believers is that they are already calling this satanic. And while I don't disagree, I ask, is it correct to judge the athletes for what the organizers are participating in? Well, I'll let you know that as I am someone who dives deep into myself and try my damnness to be the good Christian that I try to have faith in being, yeah, I'm not watching the Olympics. But here's the catch. It's not because the Olympics are supporting being overweight. It's not because the Olympics are supporting LGBTQ people to be in the place of Jesus and his disciples. Nor is it because I'm Christian and I just got myself into a tizzy for caring about this. It's, it's not even due to my disdain for the French language for being stupid. C can y'all imagine the language with feminine and masculine versions of words is the same place that is upholding the LGBTQ? Cry me a river, left wingers. But uh, it is instead because I, I just I, I don't give a f about the Olympics. After I left my parents' house, I haven't spent a single molecular moment in my entire life giving any f about the Olympics. I mean, it is interesting, I'll give it that, where we have the best of the best competing for the top, and also, uh, go Canada, I hope they do well, it's just, I already get my fair share of excitement just by watching New York collapse. I have no pent-up steam that I need to release by cheering on our team, and to be honest, I don't have the time or money to spend on just sitting for hours at a time to watch our team play. And that's another thing. God calls us to be vigilant, not slothful. So I'm always trying to take up my time by doing something. So I, I just don't even have the time to care about watching the Olympics. Maybe if I had a healthy amount of money in my wallet, I might watch the Olympics to cheer on our team. But I don't even think that I would want to, given the ability. Uh, tell me down below, am I the only person who has lost the allurement of the Olympics? Like, I'll be completely honest, I have no I- I- I have no idea that the Olympics was even happening this year. Or even less knew that it was France holding it. And even now, 
that I know these things, I still don't give a shit about it. There are much more important things to think about other than whatever people think about with the Olympics. Oh man, I hope our country wins this year. Right. But just because your country wins doesn't mean that you as an individual win in society. And so I'm not I'm not going to watch the Olympics this year. Not because I'm doing like a spiritual walkout, but rather because I no longer live with my parents and I have more important things to deal with in my life. I want to one day possibly have a family and a stable life. And those things cannot happen if I spend hours at a time doing things of no purpose for no reason. And uh, this is where I would typically say something to the effect of uh, liberalism is causing every problem in current day society and then juxtapose it with a vote conservative because it's a very simple solution to the problems that liberals have caused. But I'll be honest, even though I absolutely hold that opinion, I'm just not feeling up to giving that speech. Because overall, I still don't give a about the Olympics. I say just give the liberals the Olympic stuff, but that's just because I don't care. But if you, well, that is a voice crack. <clears throat> but if you want to support North America, that being Canada and America, in becoming great again, then vote conservative. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way, though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.